Hello, today we're doing AMC 12A 2024, problem number 7. Alright, we're given a triangle ABC, that's a right isosceles triangle. So let's call this ABC. We're given that BA is square root of 2, BC is square root of 2. That means that we know the hypotenuse AC would be, uh, you know, A squared equals square root of 2 squared plus square root of 2 squared. So that's 2 plus 2, which is 4. That means A equals square root of 4, which is 2. So we know that the length of this hypotenuse right here would be 2. And we want to find out what A of P1, um, we want to find out what B of P1 plus B of P2 all the way to B of P of 2024 is, where P1 is here, P2 is here, all the way to P of 2024. So there will be 2024 evenly spaced dots on the hypotenuse. We want to find out what each of these blue lines added together would be. Okay, so let's see how we could approach this. We Let's just look at uh, B of P1. So B of P1, let's say if this goes X amount in the X direction and Y1 amount in the Y direction. So the vector B of P1 would be X1, Y1. So we found the vector B of P1. And let's say the vector B of P2 is X of X2, Y2, all the way down to B of P of 2024 would be X of 2024 and then Y of 2024. Okay, so how can we find out the sum of all these vectors? Um, we could see a special property when we mirror this right triangle. So, so if we draw another right triangle like this on top, we could see that for, for this here, we could draw another blue line to P1 and this x1, and let's call this, you know, xn, and let's say this is yn. Well, we see that when we add up x1 plus xn here, and then y1 plus yn, this is just the length of this square that we made, right? x1 plus xn, x1 here, xn here, will be the total length of this whole side right here. So this would be square root of 2. y1 plus yn here would also be square root of 2. So that's a really cool property. But now if we look back at this, you know, shape that we drew, how do we know what xn, yn is? So let me just redraw this real quick. A, B, C, square root of 2, square root of 2, this is of length 2. Um, for this dot P of 1, let's see what the corresponding dot would be that would give that special property. Uh, it looks like symmetry, right? This is P1, this is P of 2024. So the length the length of the X in P of 2024 is this right here, right? And the length of the Y for P of 2024, which is here, is the same as here. So we see that uh, by symmetry, b of p1 plus b of p of 2024 will be x1 plus x of 2024, and then y1 plus y of 2024. And this will be equal to square root of 2, square root of 2. Okay, so that's a really cool property. So how many of these pairs do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, dot, 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 you know, 2022, 2023, 2024. We know 1 and 2024 are a pair, 2 and 2023 are a pair, 3 and then 2022 are a pair. So there will be 2024 divided by 2, which is 1,012 pairs. Okay, that's really cool. So this would mean that when we add up b of p1 plus b of p2 plus dot 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 plus b of p of 24, this will be equal to 1,012 square root of 2, comma, 1,012 square root of 2, because there's 1,012 of these square root of 2, comma, square root of 2 pairs. Okay, that's cool. So we want to find out the length of the vector sum. So this is just the vector sum, right? So we have to figure out the length. And this is the length of x, and this is the length of the y. So by Pythagoras, we know that the length squared equals x squared plus y squared. So the length here would be equal to the square root of 1,012 squared times 2, because square root of 2 squared is 2, um, plus 1,112 squared times 2. This would be equal to the square root of 4 times 1,012 squared, so this would be equal to 2 times 1,012, which is 2024. Alright, let's see. 2024 is answer choice D.